Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. I've finished my um, April, I'm ashamed to say, design team project for Angel Dream Crafts. So I thought I would show you what I decided to make. Um, as you know, I usually make these little fabric shabby bags with making snippets, but the fabric that um, Kim sent me and the laces and trims were just so, so beautiful that I just really wanted to showcase them. I didn't want to hide them all amongst the snippet. So this is what I've come up with. So I've made a, one of my little fabric bags, but what I've done is I've layered all of these beautiful lace and trims so that you can see them all. There's the one with the rabbits on. I love this. And I basically um, made myself a little template with my envelope pattern onto some white cotton, um, you know, like cotton sheeting. And then I stitched, well, I pinned, um, there's things underneath here. So the lace is um, overlay there and onto the blue. And this all came from her kit, apart from this little bit of trim here, which was in my stash, but it just really went well with this. And this here is that beautiful blue sari silk that I showed you. It's got bits of mauve in it. Some of it is in underneath. There's another piece there. That's some ribbon. And of course, up here. And then there was, um, sorry, the ribbon's sticking out here because I've just opened it. There was some of this beautiful applique flowers like trim. So I cut the flowers off. Sorry, just move that bit back there. I made a little like scrunchy ruffle for the flower underneath and sewed it to one of the bigger white flowers. Then I layered up some more of the sari silk and then there was two of these in little embellishments in the um, selection of goodies that she sent me. So that's what I put on the front and on the back I sewed on some of the little white flowers, sorry, and I clustered some little seed beads in the middle, sewed them on as well. Um, I just thought it needed something on the back. Although this is all beautiful, I wanted to marry it all in together. And then if I lift up here, you can see I've put a flower here and a flower here. Now I was going to put a third one on, but I thought that could be number three because I don't like doing even numbers. But with the popper there, it just didn't seem to go anywhere. And then the inside, if I just take the journal, little mini journal out a second. What I found in my stash was a very thin piece of cotton. I don't know if it came from a sheet in the past or what, but it was from a scrap bin that I found this in the past somewhere. And it had this beautiful flower printed on it. So I use that to line it so you can't see any stitching. I mean, there's the odd stitch there where I've stitched um, the flowers on. But apart from that, you can't see any. And I love the way that this frill fitted in with all the colours. So that's the bag. Now, I'm still debating whether or not to make a dangle for it yet. But for that, I'll have to look in my stash. And then this is the mini um, blank journal that I've made. Um... The reason why I've done this is because I do these quite a lot and I just wanted to try something not my usual style. I don't normally use pretty, pretty, you know, whites with blues and pinks, as you know. So it was it was really good for me to, you know, go outside of the box for me, come away a bit more from the shabby vintage or the grungy vintage or the wintry blues and do something a bit pretty. I mean, there is still blue in this, but it's completely different um tone or shade to what I'm normally used to using so for this cover I've tied it off with and please excuse my fingers they're covered in paint I've only just finished this and they've got glue all over them I've tied it off with some um, organza ribbon and if I show you this is one of Artie Mays's pictures and I've sewn around it I've ripped it out there's some blue flowers under here from one of Artie Mays's pages. I've got it here. Now I can't remember. I think this could be a touch of blue. No, it's the iris kit. So there was a blue flower display here and I ripped that up and used it 
to collage on this. And that's there as well. There's a bit of doily. There's a pink ticket. Some of it I've just put peeking out behind here. There's the numbers from it. There's a little clock up there that I've cut out. And then this is the same blue sari silk. I frayed it up. And on this bit, it's not very clear, but the same ribbon that's on the edging of this bag is on here. And then I've put some of my little white flowers. That one's come off there, so I will pop another pink diamante on there in a moment and I've set little nail art gems on there and up here that one's hiding a little bit but I like that because it gave it a bit of depth it peeking out there and then on the side I've got some more of that ruffly blue and white trim I've gone over the top with some tiny flowers and then in the back I've done this now this is also Artie Mays, and I'm wondering, I think it might be her William Morris kit, but I'm not entirely sure. But it's um, a, an Artie Mays paper, which I basically printed off on card, and then I've gone around it with some Victorian velvet, I think it is, Distress Stain. And then that's the front again. And down here, which I'm covering up with my clumsy fingers... It's um, got a Tim Holtz, I Dream of Stars That Glitter. And then all I've done in here is I've lined it with some cheesecloth and some lace to give it a bit of strength along the spine. Um, this was backed onto card as well, so it's quite a firm cover. And I've just lined it inside with some vintage um, music paper. And as you can see, it's all sewn around. I'm sewn around here. And then I've just put some vellum here, this beautiful print vellum. That was a gift from Janet Hicks. And then I've got some avocado dye pages. And these were given to me by Rosemary Arcadra when she entered my challenge giveaway. So I thought I'd put some of those in here. And then we've got some of my own um, coffee dyed papers. I've punched out a couple of the edges. There's a doily, a glassine bag. Some more avocado, some square paper. So, I, like I said, I've left it blank. Um, this can then be decorated. And, and in here, I used um, DC uh, what's it, embroidery floss. And I could not get my bead needle to thread up over it because it was too thick. So, instead of putting beads on here, I put a, dan a dandelion, a dragonfly and a butterfly as the little charms to hang out the bottom so that's that so thank you so much Kim for the opportunity to have a play around with some of your beautiful bits and pieces from your gorgeous shop I will put the shopping underneath I've got another package to open which I'm going to do tomorrow and film and put up of the May um, design team project bag that she sent me and uh, I, I already know what I'm going to be making with that because I've had a little peek. But I might also use some of the stuff that's left over from the um, April bag. But uh, I'm really pleased with how these turned out. And this is a completely different look for me. But I tell you what, I think it's really pretty. And uh, I hope it's given you a bit of inspiration. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. Check out Kim's shop, Angel Dream, Cra Dream Crafts which is on Etsy. Like I said, I'll put the link below and I'll be back again soon with my May design team package from her. But for now, thank you very much and goodbye. Bye for now.